I always knew my elephant gun would come in handy one day. But never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that it would be the legendary Walter Green himself that I shoot with it. Whoever you shot, though, it wasn't Walter Green. A seven-foot-tall strong man in a mask wielding a huge bloody knife? If that's not Walter Green, then who is? I don't know. But in that house, I found an old soldier's body. It had Walter Green engraved on the name tag. Look, it doesn't matter, guys. Whoever he was, he now bites the dust, and I don't think anyone will miss him. I guess... I'll miss Arno, though. He didn't deserve to die like that. Was he that bloke? Yep. Poor sod. If only I'd bought you more time. Maybe you could have saved him, too. What's done is done. He knew what he was getting into. We certainly owe him, but we can't turn back time. It should have been me who died there. Don't say that. Why would you even think like that? I have cancer. I'm dying anyway. You? What? No way. You're shitting us, right? I wish I was. My time's almost up. And Arno... He could have lived a long, happy life. Damn. I don't know what to say. There is nothing to say. Let's get back to the farm. I bet George is up already. Someone's got to make him a sandwich. You guys, go ahead. I'll join you in a minute. Okay, but try not to upset any more serial killers. At least not before breakfast. No, of course. But it's such a nice morning. I just want to enjoy it for a moment and collect my thoughts. Sure. See you later then. And don't step in a sheep's poo! Those are well-trained sheep. They don't shit in the garden. You can come out now, little friend. I know you've been following me. What's that? A name tag? Let's see. Miller. Nice name. Where's your owner, Miller? Are you lost? Well... You're welcome to stay if you want. There's always room for one more cat. Someone's popular today. Huh? What do you mean? The cats. Just look at them. They adore you. Cats? Oh, yes. These furry rascals are rather lovely, aren't they? Sarah mentioned something about cats not being allowed inside. Really? Well, she's always preferred dogs. 
But don't worry, we can keep the cats a secret. Kieran won't say anything to her either. And Jenny, well, ladies like her never stay long. She'll probably be gone before next Sunday. Hey, you're not heading towards the kitchen by any chance, are you? Yeah. You hungry? Oh, he wouldn't mind a nice sarnie, yeah. Right, I'm on it. No. You must put the light back into our eyes. And bring the laughter to her,
burnt cat. You look bigger today. Do I? Perhaps it's because I'm so proud of you. Two tasks completed already. Well done, Angeline. You're really doing it. Hmm. I suppose I am. Thanks. But why am I here again? That's how things work on Burnhouse Lane. Once you find it, you can never really leave it. Am I dead? Did I... choke to death coughing? Is that it? No. You're here because it's time for your third task. But I've only just finished the last one. You don't have a lot of time, Angie. You know that. Fine. What do you want me to do now? You must go to the nearby town of Honiton. There's a woman there named Mary Willis. She lives in a house on the far side of town, away from prying eyes. Once, she was on the front pages of all the local newspapers. Now, most have forgotten she even still exists. See, Mary used to be a nurse. A phlebotomist. One day her colleagues caught her stealing blood bags. She was secretly stashing them in the trunk of her car so she could take them home. Mary lost her job, but did not go to jail. Instead, she spent a couple of years on the psychiatric ward, treated for schizophrenia. Okay, but well, what's that got to do with me? You will enter Mary's house and spill a drop of blood into her meal. Then, you must make sure she consumes it. Why? Because blood is where your sickness lives. If you want to cure it, you must first share it with someone else. Someone horrible, like Mary. But won't that kill her? No, it's just part of the ritual. The only meaning it has is symbolic. How do I make her drink it, though? She loves all blood. She'll love yours, too. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. You'll see. Now, go back before poor old George starves to death. But I... No. Quiet now. Listen. Be still. And let the darkness take you back into your world. It's the cancer, isn't it? Oh, you poor thing. Is there... something I can do? I could use a friend. But, you know. I'll understand if you need to go. This desolate farm isn't really the right place for someone like you. Actually, George has told me there's a spare bedroom upstairs. I can have it, if I want. Oh yeah? This place is exactly what I need after everything I've been through. So I'm gonna take him up on his offer and stay for a while. The thing is, I've done some fucked up shit. <laughs> and I don't even mean the vicar. It's a lot of things I kind of fucked up. And uh, I could also use a friend. Angie? Okay. There's just uh, one problem. The room, well, it's uh, locked. 
and neither George nor Kieran knows what happened to the key. Maybe you've seen it? I don't know. I've seen a lot of keys. What does it look like? It's, uh, yellow, and it apparently has a, a lion engraved on it. A lion? I think that's the word Kieran used. I honestly can't understand what he's saying half the time. I'll let you know if I see it. You all right, George? Uh, quite fine, dear. Thank you. I was a man. the key? I didn't realize that I've had it on me all along. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Shall we go in? Don't ask me, it's your room. One of the perks of being an actress is that I always stay in five-star hotels, wherever I go. They have those fancy bathrobes and mint chocolates waiting for you on the pillow. Sometimes they even do room service for pets. <laughs> What'd you imagine? You can order a poached fucking salmon for your fucking chihuahua if that's something that floats your boat. But this house and this room, they're just so much better. In what way? No one's pretending anything here. This shit is real. So are the spiders. Just wait till you find one. I don't mind spiders. This place is... Oh, exactly what I need in my life right now. Jenny. Are you sure it isn't your near-death experience that's making you see things through rose-colored glasses? Because let's face it. This house is a bit shit. I don't care. I haven't felt this good in a long time. Well, in that case... Enjoy. I have a little errand to run in Honiton. So I'll see you later, I guess. I hope this errand doesn't involve any serial killers again. In Honiton? Please. The only thing that's capable of killing you in that dead little town is boredom. Sure. I... I didn't mean to patronize you. <laughs> I just... <sighs> Be careful, yeah?
Hey, nurse. Where are you off to? Honiton. Shopping? Not really. I was actually gonna give some blood. You know. Oh, like to uh, to save lives and stuff. Yeah, that's right. To save a life. Oh, <laughs> oh, 